So let's talk about adding and subtracting integers, specifically when we start dealing with negative numbers and we're adding negatives and subtracting negatives. How do we actually work with this mathematically speaking? To understand this, I want you to pretend that you've got a bank account or vision a bank account with, we're gonna deal with very simple numbers to get the idea of this. But bank accounts essentially can exist in positive numbers and negative numbers. And you can also have a balance of zero. Zero means that you don't owe anything to the bank, but equally you don't have any money invested into the bank. Now, obviously as you have a positive value in the bank over here somewhere, it means that you have that money. It's your money you've invested into the bank, um, but you can withdraw that money at any stage. If you have a negative balance at some stage, it means you owe the bank money, all right? Um, that's money that you've obviously taken from the bank at some stage and you now owe it, all right? Now, something that's really important to this is with bank accounts, you can choose to deposit money, all right? So let's just say that we had a balance of two, all right? So we had $2. Uh, let's just put a dollar, uh, sorry, a dot, you can say that balance was two. And let's say that we added $5 to our account. Well, essentially we are adding $5, which means we would move in the right direction five places until we got to our new balance. All right, so this is adding a positive value of $5, okay? And that's what we can consider it. We are adding a positive value. We can sit there and go, this is plusing a positive value. However, we could also withdraw money at any stage. So let's just say we withdrew $3 from this account, okay? Well, withdrawing money is the same as subtracting a positive value. So if we withdrew $3, we're at $9, so we're now subtracting positive $3 to it, all right? These are things, interactions that we are making to our account. However, there are also fees. Okay, and when we're dealing with fees, fees are things that come out of your account. Now we can add fees to our account. However, obviously when we add a fee to our account, our balance is gonna continue getting smaller. So let's say we had a $5 fee, all right? Well, adding a $5 fee will cause our account to go this way. However, what we've sort of discussed here is we are adding a negative balance. We are adding a $5 fee. You can instantly see that we are adding a negative here and adding a negative has caused it to go to the left. Similarly, when we were, hang on, let me get my pointer out. Similarly, when we subtracted a positive value, subtracted that money that we withdrew in this case, it caused it to go to the left. However, we could also subtract fees away. Let's say the bank made an error and it needed to subtract its, uh, subtract its fee or for whatever reason, maybe it met some conditions. So we subtracted our fee of $5. Well, what's gonna happen when you subtract a fee? Well, it's gonna increase your balance again. It's gonna move the balance in this direction. All right, over to here. And subtracting our $5 would get us back to where we started uh, before we did that fee, uh, which is $6 here. So we can see that when we subtract a negative value, it causes it to increase because we are taking fees away. And when you start to think about this on a practical sense, I think it makes a bit more sense in terms of, you know, you add a fee, it's gonna cause the bank balance to go down. You subtract a fee away, it's gonna cause it to go back up. But in terms of mathematical notation, what you'll start to notice is when we add a positive, it's the same as addition. The balance goes up. When we subtract a negative, it's the same as addition. The balance goes up. So kind of when we've got the same symbols next to each other like this, it causes an increase. It means that we have addition. However, when we subtract a positive, it causes the balance to go down. When we add a negative, it causes it to go down. So when these symbols are kind of different from each other, it's the same as subtraction. It causes the balance to go the other way. And these are the rules that we need to remember when we start dealing with addition and subtraction. So let's take a look at a couple of those problems. All right, when this slide decides to go to the next page. <laughs> I don't know why it's not. Hang on. Is that gonna cause it to go? Nope. I think I might have to restart the slide. 
There we go. Okay. So, am I on the one that I want? Cool. So, what we've got here is a couple of problems here. And the first rule to note here is when we are adding a negative number, it is the same as subtraction. That's going to be the first rule we have to know. So you think about it, adding a negative number, that's adding fees to our bank account. It's going to cause our bank account to decrease. So we've got here to add negative six. What this tells us, we are starting our bank account. I like to think of bank accounts while I'm dealing with this. All right. We are starting it at two. And we are going to add a fee, which is going to cause it to go to the left six places. One, two, three, four. Hang on, where am I up to? Two, four, five. Six. So this is starting at two and we are adding a negative six. It's causing it to go to the left six places. So the way that we can think about this problem rather than think about as adding a negative, we can go, well, this is the same as starting at two and subtracting six. And that's the first step of what I write down is I rewrite the problem as saying it's two subtract six. Okay. And then I can see on my number line, but when I move to the left six spots from positive two, I end up here, which is at negative four. And that's our solution to this problem. Okay. We are now, if we're looking at bank balances at a balance of negative four, we owe the bank four dollars or whatever the units is. Okay. Now, we could be at this negative four, which is the reason why I chose this value, ironically. All right, and let's say we're adding negative two. We're adding another $2 of fees. Well, we are starting at negative four. All right, so this negative four, and we are adding negative two. We are moving further into here. So this is negative four, add negative two. We're adding two more dollars of fees. Well, the same technique. What I do with this problem as my first step is I say this is negative four, subtract two. It's the same as subtraction. And I look at my problem and it needs to move two more to the left, which will get me at negative six. So now I owe negative six total to the back. So the first rule, when we're adding negative numbers, it's the same as subtraction. So what you do is you rewrite the problem to be subtraction. Okay. So what happens when we subtract a negative? Well, if you think about it, that's the same as taking away fees. Okay. So let's just say that we're starting at $2. All right. So this is where we're at. And we are taking away the fee of $6. Well, if we take away fees, it causes our balance to increase. So it means that it's going to move to the right six places. Okay. So we start at two and we're subtracting negative six. We're subtracting our fees of six and we arrive at a more positive number. So what I consider this is this is the same as addition. Rather than think about subtracting a negative, change the problem to be addition because that's what we've essentially done. We've moved to the right. So two plus six is eight, and we can see where our solution comes from. Now, if we continue working with this and we look at it with the next problem, which I didn't start the same balance, I wish I did, but we're saying that we're starting at negative four. Okay, so that's over here. And we're taking away the fee of $2. We're subtracting negative two. Essentially, that's saying we're taking away our fee and we're moving to the right again, to here, okay? So this is our starting at negative four. We're subtracting negative two, taking away our fees. Once again, it's the same as addition. So our starting value is negative four, but we change the subtracting a negative to addition. And we go, well, what is negative four plus two? Well, negative four plus two, moving to the right, is gonna leave us at negative two. We still owe the bank negative two dollars. Well, two dollars, I should say. All right, or whatever the units is. So whenever we're subtracting a negative number, it's the same as addition. Whenever we were in the previous slide here, adding a negative number is the same as subtraction. So with these types of problems, I recommend rewrite the problem to what we are essentially doing, and then use the number line to assist you about where, which direction it moves, where you are starting at, and where you're going to finish at.